many service members, coming home after deployment can be difficult because the experience leaves them with post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, one local veteran is getting results to cope with PTSD through a very unique technique hot glass blowing. And through this technique, he's hoping to alleviate the condition for many other vets as well. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona met him and joins us now with more on this. Such a creative outlet, Carolina. That's right. Good morning, ladies. Well, for the U.S. Navy and Army veteran, glass blowing is therapeutic for him because like many soldiers, he came back from war and found himself dealing with involuntary automatic reactions and hyper awareness, something caused by PTSD. He says his family, faith and bonding with other veterans has helped him with his struggle, but it's a condition, he says, is constant. Mark Van Osdale is on a mission. I found that if you concentrate more on helping others, that you kind of heal yourself. After being discharged from the Navy Reserve for health reasons, Mark felt the need to help in the war against terror. So he enlisted in the Army in 2005 and was deployed to Iraq for 14 months. Nine years ago, he left the military, an experience that left him fighting a different kind of battle, PTSD. Two years ago, while living in Iowa, his counselor at the local Veterans Center invited him to participate in the first hot glass blowing class for veterans as a way to cope with the condition. You just pretty much forget about your PTSD, your worries of the day. You just go out there, you're trying to make something beautiful. Today, he creates colorful sculptures like flowers, bowls, and pumpkins in a space he sets up on his driveway outside his home. I don't think you ever really get healed, uh, but you get a lot better. Last year, he founded the nonprofit organization Operation Hot Glass Heroes with hopes of offering classes to help other veterans cope with their PTSD. But he says his current shop, under a tent at home, isn't the ideal studio he has envisioned. His dream is to eventually have a bigger space. Mainly so that the veterans can come back and have a place for us to all get together, hang out, blow glass. It's just really hard with what I have. I'm definitely looking for donations to someday have my own shop so that it's a lot easier for us to do this. And well, the cost for the bags of glass that he uses starts at $40. Mark mentioned that he's invested out of his own pocket $10,000 for the furnace and other items he uses. He's also received about $2,500 from donations. He hopes to teach his first class in September at the American Legion. And for more information about his classes or if you'd like to make a donation, visit clickorlando.com. And you brought something very cool to show I us. I did. Souvenir. Well, this was a little gift from Mark. Mm -hmm. It's a glass flower and... This actually takes only about five minutes to make. He made it pretty quick, and it's actually one of the first things that they learn how to make um, in these uh, hot glass blowing classes. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I know I kill all type of flowers, so those would be perfect in my <laughs> yeah. home. You know, a nice glass flower. And if it, if it helps veterans, and mm -hmm. especially with their PTSD, it's a very mesmerizing mm -hmm. skill. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I bet probably when you watch them, you're just like, your jaw drops. Yeah, how definitely. It and and it, it seems... It, it seems like it really does help because you're so focused mm -hmm. on making this sculpture. So it's it's definitely something that's worked for him and many others too. Yeah, it surely as more moment. awareness is built up mm -hmm. around what he's doing, more people will get behind it as this community hears about what he's trying that's to do. That's right, let's hope so. Yeah.